Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Eddie. It's me. And we're doing our <laughs> annual Best of Beauty video. 2018. Yes. This is actually one of my favorite videos to film with you. It's also stressful for me. <laughs> Why? Because then I think about like, what did I even like oh. use this year? Use this year. Mm. Yeah, um, but I, I like it because I'm like standing in front of my vanity and my bathroom wall and I'm like, oh, I like this one, I like this one. So mm. it kind of makes me happy just thinking back at like what I used up. You associate memories with the skincare that we used yes. at the time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. So I'm here with Eddie. We're going to film makeup on his channel and skincare on mine, as you all know. Yep. And we're going to start with you. Oh, great. Yeah, because you're the guest. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing on the list was a uh, lip and lip eye, eye remover. remover. I don't really use, because you are you wear like mascara eyeliner. Mm -hmm. I do that sometimes, right. so I tend to use just like my oil cleanser mm -hmm. with it, but the one I was using this year, yes. like it, um, lip and eye micellar cleanser. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like it. It's uh, It's got... It's like 20% of the actual cleansing part, mm -hmm. and the 80% is actually like the anti-aging, moisturizing grease, because mm -hmm. they're saying how they wanted to make something that's, because a lot of these things can be stripping on the skin, mm -hmm. so True. she made it, uh... Gentle. Gentle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember when we went to Bangkok, we both had this mm -hmm. in our pouch. Yeah. Um, I do like using this when I'm not wearing mascara or eyeliner, mm -hmm. but my go-to lip and eye remover is this one from Laneige. It removes my point makeup, and I'm satisfied with how it works. Like that one, do you have to like hold it there, or can you just... I feel like all lip and eye removers, you, you should. should hold it there for 10 right. seconds. I remember when I was at Hourglass, they were doing my makeup, so they were trying to remove my makeup, and literally they just wet it, and then they were just like going like that. Mm. And it was like hurting my, my eye area, and I was like, no, you're supposed to keep it on your eye, and, and, and then, yeah. Oh, and also eyebrows. I put it on my eyebrows. My eyes first, and then my brows. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was forget my brows. Lips too. Mm -hmm. So I use the other side of the cotton for my lips. Yeah, same. Yeah. Gotta save the cotton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, next to oil cleanser. Oil cleanser. Mm -hmm. Wait, packaging. Mm. Is this the Halloween? It's like one? the Halloween one. They were oh. like trying to get rid of it because it's like November now. They're like, are you sure you don't want like the four plus one? I'm like, <laughs> I'm okay. I just need one. But uh, the clean it zero. I mean, I. This is what I tend to go back to, mm -hmm. like, all the time. They reformulated it so that it won't burn your eyes. Because so, uh, before, I really didn't like how it would sting that area, mm -hmm. and I would I, just, like... I feel like you remember you saying that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the Hamish, that brand, people from Vanilla Co., they created the <laughs> cleansing balm. Mm. And then now there are so many great cleansing balms out there, but this is the OG, I feel like. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, I like it. It's uh, not too oily. Mm -hmm. It's really soft and almost moussey like yeah so it you know it's easy to move around some dry too quickly while you're like rubbing it in oh really or like it almost like disappears uh -huh. but this one remains really oily and like really slippery so i can get everything yeah. with a small amount and um yeah this is what i've just been using for years so it's pretty uh, amazing how it melts off everything the makeup. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i do like that one too um, I actually haven't used the Vanilla Co. in a while because I really like the Hamish one, um, the E Nature one. Mm -hmm. E Nature, that one's really good too. Mm -hmm. yeah. But right now, I've been using the Neogen one. This is the Sika Micellar Cleansing Oil. Mm -hmm. And I like how this is the liquid, even though it spilled in my bag today on my way here. Does it when you first buy it, does it come with one of those little attachment things no. that holds the neck? You open or oh, close like by twisting, but I guess I didn't close all the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this line of cleansing is actually really affordable and they give really? you a lot of product. Okay. And I've been using this for an entire season, but mm, this is all I used okay. up so far. Yeah. And I'm very generous with how much I use, so if I feel like it's not enough, I just pump and then apply evenly and then wet my hands mm. and then, you know. Try to make it all usual. melty and stuff. Mm -hmm. I need to check this one out because... You should. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I like the cleansing balm, but... Mm -hmm. Get lazy to whoosh. yeah. That's why I like cleansing oil. Like I switch between them when mm -hmm. I run out of one. Yeah. But I like ones like this where it's just whoosh, whoosh. yeah. This is actually really affordable, so okay. check it out. Do you want? It was new too this year. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next to water-based cleansers. Mm. Yes. 
talked to them. We got together. Yeah, we did. We went to the place together. He invited me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I mean, you actually have my. What I've been using this for like three years, and yeah. I honestly wanted to put this on the list, but I know everyone's just like, "Oh, please talk about something else." Yeah. So, I mean, with cleansers, I kind of just use whatever's in my cabinet. Mm -hmm. But I noticed this is one that I've been like going back to mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. And it's the Calm Dodam Pure Bubble Cleanser, and the whole brand is basically like for mothers and babies. babies. Like it's just enough to use on babies. Mm -hmm. And I guess the reason is because I feel like, especially at night, uh, when I use this cleanser because even this cleanser has some like cleanse other than removing the makeup it has cleansing properties mm -hmm. so I, I don't feel like i have to use anything harsh afterwards and this i mean i know i, I preach you know, for years about not using cleansing foam it's like weird because it's like a foam but it's really creamy yeah 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 and soft and like rich when because with some cleansing with foams they kind of go away and turn watery when you rub your hands together mm -hmm. but with this it gets really thick and creamy and I like that. I feel like I feel like it's mm -hmm. gentle for my skin. I, I feel more like plump and moisturized afterwards. So that's why I've been reaching this. I've, I've had this for a while. When, when, when did we go? Like in the summer, in the middle of the summer. I remember wearing a leather jacket when I got it with you, though. So then that's like spring. Spring, I think. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Amara Pacific makes great products, mm -hmm. and I would have to say this year I was very impressed with Kaun Dodan because as I used up the products, I really like how rich they felt on my skin. I actually have a product mm -hmm. from there that I'll be talking about later, mm -hmm. but uh, the brand is great, and they do have like this neon sign. They have this neon sign in the front that says Bopo Hedo De, mm. which means you can kiss, and it's basically saying that you can kiss the baby even when you have this makeup on because yeah. you have to. Because they also careful. make makeup. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, true. For me, water based cleansers, I love gel cleansers. Mm -hmm. There was a good one from Glow Recipe, Drunk Elephant has a great one, um, Cosarex, but my go to forever is the accent oil cup cleansing it does not strip my skin sometimes i don't even use the uh, neogen sika cleansing oil mm -hmm. i just go straight to using this and um, it kind of functions as an oil-based cleanser and water-based mm -hmm. cleanser so it's like a two-in-one yeah, you can actually use it for both it's mm. yeah and i feel like if i don't use this i like I'm missing something from my life, so <laughs> yeah, I always have to have this. Even if, even if I'm trying some other things, this is always like my go-to. Yeah, he has like three unused bottles in his. I have the large one too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, so. but I didn't want to bring it, so I just borrowed Eddie's. Yep. All right, next product. Would you? Uh, exfoliator. Mm, okay. This is like a random one because one, it's like a Sephora brand, uh -huh. and two. I didn't even know they made skincare. Yeah, me too. But this is the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment. There's a lot of really fantastic ingredients in here. I found this on, um, what's her name? Stephanie Nicole's channel. Okay. She was, she had like a sponsor video from Sephora, but she, this is something she found and she really enjoys it. I trust everything she says. But, um. I need to look her up. <laughs> yeah, it like, I, it like, pretty much like, oh, this sounds really harsh, but it like evaporates or like decimates all like the dead skin on the skin so i don't recommend using this every single day mm -hmm. maybe every other day or even less to get your skin used to it mm -hmm. um but this is fantastic for all skin types oily um because it balances everything makes your pores smaller as well dry skin it really removes the dead skin and really allows other skin care to absorb a lot better mm -hmm. and um yeah you'll notice like a difference like with little fine lines and like the brightness of your skin after you use this but i mean this is my this is my favorite from the year but if you want something a little bit more gentle, I did, I mean, this is not, this is something I used as well. But I think this was from my last year. Uh -huh. That's why I'm also going to mention this. But it's the 3CE, the White Mil Milquidro? Milk, it's supposed to be like milk and liquid. Okay. Peeling tone. It's basically the same thing, but a softer version. So. Milkwid? Mil milkwid. Milkwid. Milkwidro? Milk, milk, I don't know. Anyway, it's their peeling toner. Oh, okay. And um, it smells like milk. Oh, it does? Yeah. Can I smell it? Yeah. But uh, if you want something more gentle, there's that. But this definitely, if you wow. have acne scarring, you know, hyperpigmentation, all like fine lines, any of that, this one. This is good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, my exfoliator never changes every mm. year. Um, I do try out different ones, but there is none as gentle as this one. It's mm. the Neogen Gauze Peel. This has been my favorite since I discovered it, and it comes in wine, lemon, and green tea. And green tea is a popular antioxidant mm. that helps with redness. And since I do have like breakouts right now, like right here, this is like my mm. my go-to exfoliator. How often do you use this? Uh, I actually don't use it too often. Depends on the season, mm -hmm. but I try to do one once a week. Okay. Once a week. All right. Yeah. And you wash it off, you said? Of course. I was using it for so long, I was like <laughs> not washing it off. But didn't you feel like it was so sticky? I was like, mm, there must be something wrong, but whatever. <laughs> so I just read the directions, show this. Nah. So I, you guys know I'm the type that when I find something, that's why these don't really change, is because when I find something, I keep using it. Same though. Yeah. This has been like, I feel like I talk about this every year. I love the GPS mask. GPS mask, try it. This is actually the, the new version. Mm -hmm. uh, the sheet mask is thicker, mm -hmm. but only slightly. It's still really, it's made out of like coconut like meat. Mm -hmm. And so like it shows like really well, like it adheres really well. Uh -huh. And I, I joke about this, but um, ever since I got a nose job, my nose bridge is a little higher. So masks don't like stick to this part of my nose. Oh. And that's ironic because this is the most sensitive part. And it's oh. always like, missing the, the, moisture. the moisture so i have to like push here but it sticks there really well oh, really? and uh yeah it's got the skin shielder cleanser the little thing that you apply um that like automatically foams mm -hmm. um that you use this as a second step and there is the new cell energy cream in here so oh this is the new cell energy yeah it's their new updated oh, version so um, this is also an updated cleanser too mm, yeah, yeah. yeah it's my go-to travel mask because it has everything in one exactly and i personally love using the troy Atticate gps mask during the summer mm -hmm. because it does have that cooling effect oh, yeah. and when the weather is warm and humid you want to make sure that you are cleaning out the pores and i feel like the cell cleanser is also great for that mm -hmm. um so everything about this mask i love but for me, I'm gonna rave about this. It's the <laughs> Fairy Mom Seed Ceramide My Sheet Mask. Mm. And every time I give this to Eddie, he just doesn't use it because he so. wants to save it. So I brought this entire box for you. Oh my god. Merry hey. Christmas. Hey. She already told me off camera, so. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I, look, I have one mm -hmm. that I'm not using. Yeah. I like special occasion? What special occasion? I never go anywhere. <laughs> but it's formulated with ceramide, which is very moisturizing. And I just personally love using this all year long. Mm -hmm. Whenever I have an important meeting or an important event to go to, mm -hmm. and when my skin is looking very dull, I always like to use it the night before, and I wake up to very flawless, mm -hmm. dewy skin. And by flawless, it does help um, fade scars too because mm -hmm. there's um, Centella Asiatica, uh, green tea extract. It's just a very rich sheet mask. If you like squeeze it, all the essence that comes out, it's I swear it's like one bottle. Yeah, of, like, it is essence uh -huh. so there's so a lot in there apply it all afterwards yeah, too so on the arms <laughs> don't want to waste it. for toner i'm going to talk about the kaun dodan oil drop toner and this is how does she explain it she said this is the very first toner with oil that you also it. don't have to mix yeah it's already in incorporated mm -hmm. But as we were saying earlier, Kaun Dodam is one of those gentle brands that you can use on anyone, everyone, whatever age, any gender, it's good for everybody. Mm -hmm. And um, this toner is very hulyonghae. It's very um, charming, mm -hmm. like 매력적여, mm -hmm. because you don't need a lot of it and it's already super thick. Mm, for, a to as, for a toner. Yeah. And that's why she's saying you don't, if you don't want to do seven mm -hmm. skin you can just use this yeah. yeah one layer or two is fine and i feel like when i received this the seven skin method was having its moment and she was like you don't have to have seven layers and i was mm. like give it to me now <laughs> i really <laughs> yeah. wanted it because i eventually i got tired of doing the seven steps because mm. it just took like an extra it takes a while. Yeah, yeah yeah so um and it absorbs into the skin quite quickly mm. but my my as you guys can see there's definitely a difference a between the two yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's one layer. This is one layer. Mm -hmm. And um, it's my go to toner mm -hmm. every time I travel to. I always right. have the small bottle with me or the Troy um, what is it, Skin Complex Formula. Mm -hmm. I yeah, love yeah, that yeah. toner too. But 
this I wanted to bring because it's new and I didn't want to be too repetitive. <laughs> mm. So for me, uh, I literally been talking about this for like the past like forever, forever videos. <laughs> and it's weird because they, Naked Face said this to me, but I was like, what, what is that? Mm -hmm. And I never used it, but one day I ran out of my other toner. So I was like, let me just try it. And like, I fell in love. Yeah. But it's the Stress Zero Toner. It's formulated. The girl that made, the girl from the brand mm -hmm. that makes all this stuff for Makeup Face, the skincare, she makes it for herself mm -hmm. because her skin is like abhorrently like sensitive. Mm -hmm. Anything breaks her out or That's causes what I redness. That's for uh, this, but we'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not, there's no like regular mineral or purified water here. It's all seawater. 90% uh, of that. And it's, Again, calming. I was like, what is calming? But I actually use this every day. I noticed a se severe, I noticed a great reduction in the redness of my skin. Mm. Um, but it's really light. It's just like water. Like, you could mistake this for water, but mm. it's water like in texture. Yeah. And it absorbs really quick. I tend to put it in like a spray bottle. You know, the. Um, the triadic. The triadic. The, the little nice. bottle. I just put it in there. Mm -hmm. One spray is one layer. Because I, if I put more than one, then it takes longer. But just one spray and then pat and that's one layer for me and I do it seven times hmm. and I also put it on my lips oh and I noticed like it absorbs into the lips because I don't drink water as much as I should be mm -hmm. remember Bangkok oh that we was so much water I think that's the most water I've ever had <laughs> surprisingly um, I love drinking water yeah um so my lips will look dry from being dehydrated but as like an extra precaution I do put this on my lips as, well not on my lips but while I'm doing my skin I also put on my lips Aww. and I notice it definitely helps plump out my lips a little bit more um so you know if I'm not drinking enough water at least you know I had skincare on my lips which is yeah, kind of weird to mention but um mm. yeah let's go with eye cream um should I go first yeah. drunk elephant this is a duo this mm. is a eye serum and then you follow up with the eye cream mm. and it really brightens because this one has vitamin C inside it. Mm -hmm. So I like honestly speaking, the eye area is not one of my biggest concerns because mm -hmm. I don't have dark circles mm -hmm. and I don't really have that many wrinkles around my eye. Um, but I do notice a difference whenever I use it. It's very smooth and makeup applies nicely after using this mm -hmm. around my eye area because yeah. some eye creams, it just kind of the... What do you makeup or ambada? Like it does not accept mm, the foundation, yeah. so it looks very patchy right uh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I personally love how this just kind of absorbs right away, and um, I can use the eye concealer or foundation, and it will look okay. Okay. Mm. Cool. Cool. It's like a duo. Very expensive though, but I feel like eye creams. Um, because they are formulated for the gentler area on your mm. face, um, they have to spend more money yeah. creating it. They do have to test separately for that eye mm -hmm. area. I do have a video dedicated to eye cream, so you guys can click up there to watch. But um, this is like a new like eye cream duo that I've been testing out, so yeah. I love it. Sure. Mm. I'm also like you. I don't really like the fi the wrinkles I'm getting is mostly because of, like they're naturally there because of my expressions, mm -hmm. but. It's just not like a thing that I really like. As long as I feel like, as long as my skincare is good, I don't really worry about my eye area too mm -hmm. much. But I remember, it's like this year where I'm like, it's like coming to me now where I'm like, I'm getting older. We're getting old. But so the, the lines <laughs> are being a little bit more severe. But it helped me get into more like stuff that I haven't really been using, even though I had. Uh, the anti wrinkle eye cream has kind of been in my skincare for a while. It's kind of just been there. Yeah. If I feel like, oh, I need an eye cream, then I'll use this. But it's a fantastic I, it's like thin mm -hmm. but you'll notice as you're like pat, patting and like blending it in it almost like thickens it's up very in a way. rich it's very rich once it's absorbed it's yeah. hard to explain but um i also want to take this moment to um mention because i feel like it's just a random t uh, category yeah, that we yeah, need to put yeah. in it's actually tool that mm -hmm. i use the tronarike porcelain again something i've always had but i've mm -hmm. just never like really I remember when I first got I was like into it, but then I like forgot about it yeah. for so long. But then when I was like, the lines were coming, I was like, I need to do something about this. This and this. It's basically a little face massager. Uh -huh. um, I'm not going to explain everything, but I use this to kind of... V-line. V-line. I, I mean, my face isn't very like square already anyway, but I definitely noticed it's a lot more firm. Mm -hmm. 
and firm has been a very like key thing this year for me but uh way more firm um but especially around the eye area mm -hmm. i don't really notice creasing very much anymore with um my eye ma with my base mm -hmm. makeup around my eyes so these two things yeah i did notice a difference because i was like wow you don't have that much wrinkles around oh, here anymore and he told me it's because of this it was pretty shime like mm -hmm. it was like you know i'd be like hmm, laughing all the time because so it would crease but it, there's definitely a reduction now. Mm. Okay. I couldn't tell when you didn't have makeup, but then when you did have makeup, mm. the makeup does crease. But then nowadays, mm. his makeup looks flawless. So... Yeah. Yeah. And especially for my acne scarring as well. Mm -hmm. When you have acne scarring, like pitted acne scarring like me, it, when, you're, when you're losing firmness, it looks even worse. Mm -hmm. But lately, because my skin has been a, lot, been a lot more firm... It balances and basically mm. flattens yeah, the skin Yeah, in a way, yeah, yeah, exactly, so. I love this too. Mm -hmm. I always take it with me on the airplane because I'm bored yeah. and I don't want to come out bloated. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of give myself a face massage. Right. I should talk more about it on my channel. Um, if you guys want to see like a face massage video, <clears> let me know in the comments. Maybe we could do it together. Yeah, because I like looking bloated. Oh, you, oh yeah, because he's because I'm, like, so skinny. skinny. So I like being bloated. Yeah. But I know that's like a thing for some people, like when they wake up or in general. I feel like people can look slimmer. It's just mm -hmm. that they don't know about the lymphatic drainage mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. So yeah, make that video on your channel. Oh, we should do it together. Joa. Haza. Okay. Uh, Battery overheated. Yeah. <laughs> it did. So we're going to talk about the skin boosters in skincare. Okay. It's the serum, essence, or ampoules. I have three right here. Two. Okay. All right, I'll start first then. Here is the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. This is formulated with 93% natural fermented ingredients. Mm -hmm. And fermented ingredients are very popular in uh, Korean skincare. In a Japanese of, skincare. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. A lot of women love it. Like a lot of ajumas really mm -hmm. like the fermented skincare. That's why Sarwazu is so popular. Mm -hmm. um, SK2. Yes. But this is not as expensive. It's really not. <laughs> that is like hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. For like the same size bottle. Yeah, I think this is about thirty-two or thirty-four dollars. This won this year's Soko Glam Top Beauty Awards, mm -hmm. or was it last year? One of those. The fact that it even won it. It it won one of those. Mm -hmm. um, but Neogen, because I worked with them so closely this year, I learned the process of each product that mm. goes out into the market. This is one of the essences that I loved because it really moisturizes the skin and it made my skin look very healthy. Very affordable essence that I feel like you guys can give to your moms. Mm. Mm. Okay. Good one. Yeah. And like, while we're still on topic of that, mm -hmm. like not gonna be look like I, I use SK2 for mm -hmm. a while. I didn't know it's like a huge difference. Yeah. And I mean, I'm sure there's there's some people that love it. Mm -hmm. well, I'm I'm happy for them. Yeah. But if you're gonna I'm like, happy for them. Yeah. Put it for hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Mazo, mm. this is an empty as you guys can see, and I just loved how my skin just drank it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What other like benefits does it have? It brightens, softens, <laughs> and hydrates the okay. skin. Okay. Yeah, that's on the bottle. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think doesn't like fermented stuff have like anti-aging yeah anti-aging right. too that's why i said this for is me. good for yeah me have you tried this product that one no oh really they also came out with like a serum mm. um so i do want to test that out i have it at home that's also in a glass jar but there's been a line of skincare products that i need to test mm. out but as you all know if i like something i like to see the end of it okay. even if i don't like it i will find a way to finish using the product okay. like if i don't like a specific toner i'll use it on my body mm. yeah wow that's some because, dedication no because i'm like <laughs> out the window no 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 i hate <laughs> wasting products mm. ah, <laughs> thanks okay, okay. Oh, you go next. Me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, blah, 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 blah. Accent Recovery, Senil Asiatica, mm -hmm. but really this like so chock full of it that mm -hmm. they said it's very expensive to make and this is not a cheap product, right. but I, I just, my skin like needs it at this point. <laughs> really? I notice a difference if really? I stop using it. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, it, because my skin, just, it gets damaged so easily and it scars so easily as well. Um, so whenever I do skincare lasers, breakouts, this, okay. this really helps uh, prevent any like damage with like sunspots, mm -hmm. um, hyperpigmentation, 
scarring and um yeah this is i love it too it's just i use really it good. as a emulsion yeah you can use it as I that use it too all over. because it's it's a cream so mm -hmm, it is um, you can even like if you want to go like the extra mile use this as like your daily like you know emulsion yeah but it's like full of central asia yeah. like it's a lot in there yeah. so more than other a lot of other like central asiatica thing because there's a lot on the market yeah this has been always been my favorite so. and central asiatica has been it's been having its moment mm -hmm. a lot of skincare has been um, focusing on that ingredient because it really helps with acne mm -hmm. um, but this is my favorite central asiatica product mm -hmm. out in the market because it is very highly concentrated in yeah. it yeah um, but since we're on the topic of Troy Outer K, I'll talk about the Hydro Essence. Um, this, is, again, is very hydrating, as the name says. I have dry skin and sensitive skin, so when it comes to essences, I want to make sure that it has that extra moisture. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to later talk about how I take care of acne. But yeah, this is my go-to essence. I've talked about it many times on this channel before. It's very thick. It's a gel product. I remember we described it as like aloe gel, mm -hmm. but with like the moisture level of like a thick cream. Yeah. Yeah. Like to the Toyota people, I, were, I, I was like, oh, it's like the Nature Republic aloe gel. And they were so offended. Um, excuse yeah, me. They, like, they get so angry when I ever talk about any other skin. Yeah, like, do you use that on your face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They got really mad because I was comparing this expensive Dang. skincare to a 4,000 one yeah. like aloe vera. Yeah. But I was like, no, I just meant that it felt like it. But they were like, no, the more you use it, you'll see that it feels much more, um, it'll be a lot thicker than that. And mm -hmm. it, the moisture actually lasts for all day. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things that when you start blending in, like the eye cream, it almost thickens up mm -hmm. as you, not thickens up, but like you can feel, because when you first find out, like, oh, it's just like a light, kind of aloe jelly mm -hmm. feeling thing but then you feel the moisture that it gives mm -hmm. and it's like a whole new world yeah yeah so i actually recommend using this by like more like swiping motions yeah it because it, it gets a little bit tacky mm -hmm. if you do this because i tend to do this with my skincare Same. but with that i tend to kind of sweep it yeah like yeah. this and then tap <clears throat> so for me um make a face i can't i think make a la face i think last year <laughs> i talked about the uh cream the the 10 percent scaling cream oh yeah wow you don't have it today i know because i felt like people would be like tired of it uh -huh. but this is kind of like the gentle sister mm -hmm. of the scaling cream okay um that's a like this really intense like resurfacing cream mm -hmm. this is basically um one that apparently you can use it every day mm -hmm. like a daily sort of thing i use it like every other day um but it's kind of like the serum slash it's an ampule and it's kind of like this jelly like texture oh. it's kind of um like honey kind of like this oh uh, in a way but oh, it's, honey yeah it's kind of like honey um but kind of like that where as you're rubbing and blending it in it gets really sticky and tacky but basically what this is for is it has pha in there pha ha bha and so you get that exfoliating resurfacing smoothing mm. plumping action but it's in this sort of like ampule texture, so you get a lot of moisture. And basically it gives you glue people, like mm -hmm. honey people, like that really smooth. Honey skin. Yeah, that really smooth, uh, plump and like shiny, sheeny skin. Mm -hmm. So it's really great for before makeup, if you like glowy makeup, or at night where you get that, you know, you want you want that sort of like exfoliating action at night. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, mm. I like it. You do love makeup face. I love makeup face. Yeah. And it's weird, it's funny because like they're not known for their skincare at all. Are they're, they not? they're known for their one cushion. Oh, it's really? It's one of those brands. Yeah, they got famous from the cushion, but it's like no nobody knows about their other stuff. Since yeah, I feel so. like I only know about their skincare because you talk yeah, about it exactly. so often. Right, right, right. Okay, my final uh, skin booster is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. I love vitamin C products. I've talked about the Claire's one, Cosrx one, and this is actually the vitamin C product that I tested out this year. Mm -hmm. And I was very impressed with Drunk Elephant products actually um, because it's really great for people who have sensitive skin, but it's very effective. Mm -hmm. And I do notice that my scars and hyperpigmentation has faded. And I like how you can use this during the daytime. Most vitamin C products only nighttime, mm -hmm. um, right. but this you can use during the day. Actually, doesn't it say that you use it under 
your SPF as sort of like a boosting sort of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You should always use an SPF after using a vitamin C product. In general. Yes. Every oh, yeah. Morning. Of course. All right. So. Moisturizer. Yes. You go first. Me? Yes. All right. So I, uh, I feel like everything else was quite moisturizing and I feel like I talk about the same moisturizer every year. But this time, I want to bring something a little bit more special. So in that case, I don't think it's for everyone, to mm -hmm. be honest. But I felt like I need to mention it because it like surprised me. <laughs> but this is the <laughs> makeup face. Yeah. Super Aloe Balm. And mm -hmm. this one, I think the CEO May wanted this one. It's such a specific item. Oh. But if you have like the driest, and by dry I mean like chapped. Uh -huh. Like maybe if you live in like Alaska or something. And you have like you have a lot of wind mm -hmm. where you live, and like it's really cold, and your skin is just so raw and like painful. This is where it's at. It's lit. Like and another thing is, the first ingredient is like petroleum, and that sounds really bad. Yeah, it's it literally like intense. Vaseline. Yeah. But I've used it, and I my skin when something doesn't agree with my skin, I immediately break out. And usually rich things, like even that. Um, in this free ginger honey ampule that uh -huh. Pony's been using, that broke me out. Really? Yeah. And, but this, surprisingly, it doesn't do anything to my skin. It's like this really thick, like basically like solid Vaseline, mm -hmm. but like you get a tiny amount and you melt it between your fingers and you, I kind of tap it into my skin. And it's like this really weird sticky thing, mm -hmm. but after a few minutes when it heats up from your skin, it melts down to like this really like glowy soft like supremely hydrating like mm. thick i want to say rich it's just a thick um moisture. layer of moisture on mm. the skin so that's why if you don't like super extremely heavy things mm -hmm. i wouldn't use this but if you have like I, I mean like really dry like it makes a barrier like it locks everything in i recommend this but you don't really have dry skin i don't that's but you thing, like but it. But I love it. Oh. Um, because I, I think I think it's because my, I told you like around here, oh, right. I've been using so many like exfoliating things mm -hmm. that my skin is getting raw. Stop and, exfoliating too I much. Know, I need to stop. You I, really can. Yeah, I know. Because the effect, I get addicted to the effects. So I'm like, oh my god, my skin looks so good. I need more. I if you do it more, that breaks you out even more. But I use this to help that. So okay, uh, okay. when I feel like it's raw mm -hmm. and the moisture kind of just goes into the air mm -hmm. i go back into using this mm -hmm. and this actually works amazing under makeup okay you just have to use a little bit so again i don't recommend it to everyone because mm -hmm. it's so thick but mm -hmm. i like it speaking of that i think it's a great transition talking about <laughs> this neogen collaboration yep the joan day and night cream i want to know your review me because you i was like how is it and then he was like you'll find out in the video it was really terrible I'm wow sure. surprisingly it's not, I guess because I'm used to something like this, yeah. but it's not terribly thick because it's a gel. Yes. So, but it's not like... Drying. Uh, yeah, it's not like a drying sort of gel. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a moisturizing gel. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed in the morning, I only use that. I just did my regular toner and then just this to test it. Mm -hmm. And my skin was just glowing in the morning. Yes. So, Joa. The... Day cream. Day cream. It's like this really interesting texture. It's like a moussey, fluffy texture. Uh -huh. I thought, I, I, the first time I used, I used too much because I mm -hmm. thought, I don't know, I just had to use a lot of moisturizer, but you actually really only need a small amount, mm -hmm. which is good. You mm -hmm. save product. Um, but it starts out thick because it's fluffy, but when you start massaging into the skin and patting it in, it's kind of like a... Primer. Yeah, it's smooth yeah. and fluffy. The, the Marshmallowy? <laughs> is that the word I want to use? Because it's, even though like it almost turns thin-ish, mm -hmm. but like, again, not like a, oh, like toner sort of way. It's like, a, a, it hydrates enough mm -hmm. and it leaves the skin really soft. And I noticed that day my foundation, and again, these are things I don't really pay attention to mm -hmm. unless like it looks really bad. Yeah. But I was like, my skin looks like really smooth and soft today. <laughs> and the only thing that changed was the moisturizer. Yeah. Because I'm not really like a moisturizer person, mm -hmm. but I wanted to test it and I think, it worked fantastic. You know, so. I'm like fangirling right now because you're the first person to review this. Ah, like outside of me. <laughs> Joa, in the next yeah. video, my skin's gonna be all broken. Bro oh, wow. Well, well. <laughs> for the day cream, I did want to create something that felt like a primer because I feel like a lot of moisturizers out there, it's too thick 
or it's too watery so I have to wait for my skin to absorb it before applying foundation so for this day cream specifically I kept saying this is the texture that I wanted and then after going back and forth to like we went through like three different formulations mm -hmm. I was very specific about what I wanted and so we finalized on mm -hmm. this one and for the night cream um, I wanted something layerable because you know the seven skin method was having its moment and when you layer you can basically adjust it to what your skin wants so people who don't have dry skin you can just use one layer of it but for people like me and my mom we actually apply it two three times mm. before we go to bed so um, yeah I'm very happy about this product because I've been testing it out for almost a year yeah that's why it's in this video it's yeah. not just mm. oh no for sure right, right, right. it's the only moisturizer that I've been using all year long. Yeah, even in uh, where was that? We Jakarta. In Jakarta. You're like, yeah, I'm testing it. Yeah. yeah. So. Isn't that wild, John? It is wild. We were literally sitting on your bed in your tiny little apartment. In where were you living? Like Song. Song Jin Yo Dae. Song Jin Yo Dae. Now yeah. you're here sitting in my house here in. Almost said where we live. Yeah, I know. <laughs> sitting in my house talking about you made i know and then this year you also had your collaboration with i made the case because <laughs> the moment i got contacted by neogen i was like i think i'm gonna create something and then we, he was telling me about his um collaboration with troyatike at the time so we were very like my cream was supposed to come out months ago Really? Remember? Oh. You're like, when is your cream coming out? Is your cream coming out? Oh yeah. Cancer? You're like, this is a secret. Don't tell anyone. But like, I next month. Cream. <gasps> yeah. Oh really? Like it was supposed to come out in August. Oh my god. But the reason why we didn't release it was because you we had to re with it. yeah, you had to reformulate it, and the packaging itself took weeks to decide on. I was like surprised that you filmed those videos like. I was like, that's so dedicated. I'm a vlogger, so yeah, right. you <laughs> I'm all be about... Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I didn't like that shiny plastic in that mm. one tester sample. No. I, like, I really like this the packaging. Yeah. yeah. But can you believe like how there's so much thought that goes into creating one I know. I, I was just like, yeah, I'll make a cute little case for even my thing. It was just a case, but there was like so much of all. It was just like, so much. just, okay. Even like this. Really? And like the sticker. You have to choose? Mm -hmm. The sticker wow. for day and night and where to put the night cream. Like all of that was a discussion. Oh my god. I felt like that almost would have been like the last thing that we talked about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, thank you so much. Anyway, sun, sun cream. Uh, this, I talk about this every year, so I'm going to put it aside for now. Mm -hmm. The accent, UV protector essence. But I want to try something new this year because I, I remember there was a good time because in Korea, Dust is like a thing. Yellow dust. I never. Really, I'm always at home, so I never really thought of it. But then I like noticed it, and I was like, "This is a problem." <laughs> so I wanted to try, like, you know, pick up some things for dust prevention. Mm -hmm. And this is one of this the Sunprise Dust Block SPF 50 PA Quadruple Plus from Etude House. And actually, I actually haven't used this in a while. Etude House. Yeah, I was using this like religiously in the summer. Uh, and when I the never, Mizumaji was bad. It was so bad. It's been bad in Korea. Mm -hmm. I, rem I think I remember I loved it so much because it's probably one of the thinnest Milky. sunscreens. Yeah, it's really watery mm -hmm. when you blend it out, but it doesn't have like that weird dryness that some sunscreens have. It's mm -hmm. quite moisturizing. And it's just so, I thought like, oh, dust block. I'm assuming I had this idea of like this shield or like layer on my skin, which I don't like the idea of, but it's like nothing when you apply it. Mm -hmm. Also... The lavender cream has mm. vitamin E, and vitamin E protects the skin from environmental stressors like pollution. Oh, yeah. There you go. So, I mean, while we were creating this, I'm going back to this cream. We were thinking about everything mm. that I had a problem with. So, like mm. acne, dry skin, pollution, mm -hmm. everything. So, okay. okay. Oh, and also, <laughs> I thought it was so interesting when you said that the lavender helps you sleep at night. I was like, that's so smart. That's why in your that's why your little commercial you like put it on right before you go to bed. Did you see me drinking wine in the commercial? I did in the bathtub. I was like, girl, the fact that you have a bathtub. I don't have a bathtub in Korea. I don't have a bathtub that looks like I that. Know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this one mm. I really enjoy and I highly recommend. I like how yours is dust related because mm. mine is too. This oh, okay. is the Laneige 
anti-pollution two-tone sunstick and this is a oh. two-in-one product oh, green yeah, and yellow. oh you did mm -hmm. oh yeah the green is good for redness mm. yellow helps brighten and together um they're supposed to just brighten the skin in general mm. it brightens the skin and it feels like a primer like mm. yeah because these sunsticks have had they were like really in this year mm -hmm. they were everywhere yeah yeah, so you, can, you don't have to apply a separate primer because mm -hmm. this kind of acts as both. Yeah. Speaking of which, what? Oh, <laughs> I, forgot, I was gonna say during, when you're talking about the day cream, uh -huh. um, I like primer, but the idea of wearing moist skincare and then primer mm -hmm. and then all this stuff is like an extra step. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't use primer all the time. Mm -hmm. That's why. I, I like the cream is because like, you get that, but it's not a primer. It's not a primer. Because a lot of primers are literally just silicone, mm -hmm. and I like the idea of that like freaks me out. Yeah. So the fact that I can get a smooth base from skincare, mm -hmm. but it's not a primer. It's it not. just feels like a primer. Yeah. Which is. And yeah. actually, I'll just say one more thing mm. before we move on. Mm. But the vitamin C and E actually work great together. So sometimes mm. at night, especially right now during the winter time, I like to use a layer of green tea first because of the vitamin C. And then I apply the lavender. And together, they just help strengthen the skin, brighten the skin. Mm. And I actually like using them together at night okay. now. And mm. so it's really about your preference. But again, day cream, you don't need a lot of it. But lavender, I like to be generous. Okay. So, yeah. Joel. Mm, okay. Enough with the cream talk. <laughs> Let's move on to lip care. All right. You first, because I know you're all about lips. Yes. So I actually love using the La Neige Lip Sleeping Mask. But because I've talked about that so many times, I decided to bring these two products right here. And this is the Drunk Elephant Lip Balm. And... Mm. It's done. I'm done using it. I even scooped it out with my Q-tip because <laughs> it just felt so wasteful. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like $14 for, for this. this. Actually, you get a lot in the little bottle at the yeah. very bottom. Yeah. And you can actually, I saw uh, Gotham Mista. She just swipes it once and she doesn't use it twice. Mm. Just, it's big enough so okay. you can oh, get your across both lip. lips. Mm -hmm. uh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. But this is formulated with a lot of rich oils and Drunk Elephant is all about clean ingredients. Yeah. So um, at first I was like, why is this so expensive? It's so small. It's so interesting. But um, as I continue to use this throughout the year, when I finished using it, I, w I felt the difference when I used different lip care products. Mm, I see, I see, I see. And you know, at nighttime, I like to use a mask, but during the day, I do like to apply a lip balm before applying lipstick. But this is my favorite for before the lipstick lip care. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Sure. Yeah. And then I guess you and I could both talk about oh, this because it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah. I don't really use a uh, lip mask. Oh. It's a thing I should use because my lips are so dry. And I do, I do like the, I've been trying out the Laneige lip mm -hmm. mask, but this is one that I've been using more throughout the year. Mm. I did get this in PR like a while, a long time ago. Oh. I never like paid attention to it. Oh. And so then you were like, I got this. I was like, oh, I thought that's you. I'm to try it. So I tried it. Because I really, the first time I tried it, I was super underwhelmed for some reason. Really? But then you showed it to me. I was like, I have that. So I got it in like the little pile and I tried it. And I really like it. It's like really hard to, not really, it's not really hard, but it's quite thick. It's one yeah. of those things where if it's in room temperature, it's really hard. Yeah. So you have to like squeeze it to yeah. get it out. But like when you apply it on your lips and it heats up, mm -hmm. it melts down into like this really soft, emollient, really hydrating. You're doing great. Keep going. <laughs> lip product <laughs> thing. So it's not. It's definitely yeah. not a mask, but they actually have like five colors. No, thirteen. Oh, I think m m around Girl. 13. There's a lot. Ah, good. The concept is tea. So they have ah. wedding green tea, uh, mm. earl grey tea, mm. chamomile. Um, yeah. Okay. So if you need like a hint a of color, tint. a little hint, a little tint of color, but also you want to hydrate your lips, use it. I, re I use this a lot when I got my lip fillers. Mm. My lips were a little bit dry at the time. So um, I was like slab. It looked so good because my lips were just pumped out and I was like slabbing all over. But... Um, and you get a ton of product in yeah, here. It's a lot. a lot. And I've, I've been using this for like half a year and I still... Still have so much of it. Yeah. Same. Mm. Um, I actually gave this to Ashley and Christine and they both love it. And Abe, he took all my 
not tinted ones.、Mm. The first three、mm-hmm. in the collection, he、yeah. was like, "Give it all," because he has really chapped lips、ah, too.、Right. So he takes all my chapsticks, and I'm like, "You should try the Innisfree." And at first, he was like, "I don't want to carry this around," but the moment he applied it on his lips, he was like, "Duna, give me all of them," and I was like, <laughs> "Okay, here, just take it all. <laughs> just take it all." Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're done. Woot! There's there it is another. Successful year, yep, twenty eighteen. Yeah,、Ugh. but before we finish, let's talk about our favorite、mm-hmm. brands. I have two. Go for it. One's Western and one's Korean.、Mm-hmm. So for Western, as you all saw, Drunk Elephant won my heart. I did a video dedicated to the Drunk Elephant product, so I'll link it up there and in the description box. But I just fell in love with. The story behind how the brand was made and how the ingredients work on my skin.、Mm-hmm. And for the Korean brand,、um, I don't know if this is a biased thing, but I did talk about this brand a lot on my channel before. But because I was working with them very closely、mm-hmm. throughout the year, I want to give the brand award to Neogen because、mm-hmm. they just care so much about like. Everything, like from packaging to formulation,、mm-hmm. and just I saw the process of it, and I really appreciated it. So,、um, yeah, and I actually brought a lot of the Neogen products today, and that was because I did like the product.、Mm-hmm. But yeah, Neogen for K Beauty. Chua. No, no. No. Make a face. Pretty much. <laughs> Make a face is like, I don't know, because. I'm friends with one of the guys that works there,、uh-uh. and so I guess I paid extra attention to it. But it made me realize how good their skincare is,、mm-hmm. especially for my skin. It all started with like the scaling cream,、mm-hmm. and then it got me into the toner. Yeah, I want to try this. Yeah, even Chua. Yeah, and this stuff has like tran. This along with their scaling cream has like transformed my skin. Being so, I know, being someone with acne scar, like the pitted kind, which、mm-hmm. a lot of skincare doesn't really fix.、Mm-hmm. I, I'm into it. Yeah. This stuff,、uh, it's.、Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, it's not like it's the line's not as extensive as something because I know Drunk Ella has quite a number of products in their lineup.、Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. Yeah, runner up for me though. I'll just give one more. Would be Kaun Do Dam. Kaun Do Dam. Because early this year when you took me to their store, I was so. Like in love with the concept <laughs> of being like good for all skin types and ages. I was like, I love it so much,、yeah. and I do take the samples around with me as I travel. But、mm. yeah, with skincare, those are our awards.、Yep. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Check the description box for all the links down below, and see you guys in Eddie's video for makeup. Bye. Bye.